Hey, but it's me, Gert, and welcome back to Vortex Point number two. Let's go. Hey, let's have our photos taken. Oh my god, yeah. Alright. Wait here for our photos while I go inside and wash my hands. Alright, girl, I love you. Alright. Very agreeable. Cool, the photos are ready. Oh my god. The police chief on the phone. Once again, he needs our help. Last night, two teenagers were taking photos inside a photo booth. Okay, continue. While they were waiting for the photos to be ready, one of the girls, Selena, went inside the nearby restrooms. She disappeared ever since. Alright, but what is supernatural about that? So while Selena was inside the restroom, the other girl, Haley, took the photos when they were ready. In those photos, she saw a masked man strangling Selena. Oh my god. It's needless to say, while they were taking the photos, there was no one else with them inside the booth. Uh, so you're saying the photo predicted the future? It may be the case. Either way, I sure do hope we find Selena safe and sound. Okay, I have one question. Do y'all both have on flip-flops with socks? Or that's just how y'all sneakers are made? Because I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. I'm kind of mad about it. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, nothing in here. What this one? Nope. What this one? Oh, magnifying glass. Thank you. Nope. Nope. Alright, let's go to the crime scene. I think that'd be the first smart place to go. What's up, copper? Well, you must be Kevin, the paranormal investigator. Yes, I am. Please tell me what happened. Oh, we have one missing girl, Selena Balderas, age 16. She went inside these restrooms and never got out ever since. So she should still be in there. Her friend who was with her all that time, Haley, said she never saw Selena leave the restroom. So she should still be in there. Oh, we dusted for prints, but the place was a mess. Lots of fingerprints. Is there a back door or a window to these restrooms? Uh, no, there's no other way out. Also, we didn't find any signs of violence or traces of blood. So she should still be in there. And now for the spooky part. I'll get you the photos of the girls. They were taken inside this photo booth. And you can see someone there strangling Selena. But that's not what was in front of the camera. At least that's not what our only witness says. You mean Haley. Alright, do you have any ideas? If you ask me, it's just some photo trick and two teenage girls that are starved for attention. Hmm. Alright, thanks. Alright, well, let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Unless this girl just, uh, is completely oblivious to what's going on next to her. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go inside. Please wash your hands. Everything seems to be clean and in its place. I don't think there's anything in here that's important to the investigation. Probably not, but I promise you she's still on here somewhere. And we can't go into here. That's oh. Hello, I'm oh. working with the police on the search for a missing girl. Have you seen the masked man that appears in this photo? I can't remember. Uh, but I do have a photo thrown in here of someone with that same mask. I'm so hungry, I'm not thinking straight. Oh, come on, man. Looks like this photo was taken in a professional photography studio. Hmm. Craig might know about this. Oh, That's a board with a nail in it. Oh, it's a weapon. Self-defense. Hi, sir. I need a drink. Give me something good. We only had beer. Ew. Alright, beer me up, Scotty. My name is Kirk. Alright, Kirk, Scotty. Hmm, interesting. Here you go. Hmm, oh. That's an old family heirloom. Leave it alone. Alright, why do you have it sitting there so someone can grab it, you know? It's not smart. Can I give this to this man? I don't think beer would make his life any better. It might. Hey, Craig. This doesn't work. 
Okay. Well, look at this. This doesn't work. Okay, well, look at this. Okay, well, no, no heck you. Bye. Go to Main Street. Oh, just stuff me. Hey! Hello, I'm working with the police on the search for a missing girl. Do you know anything about it? No, I hardly leave my store. Are you drunk? Your nose is kind of red. Cavies beans? That's my dinner, and it's not for sale. I'll trade you a beer. This doesn't work. Fudge. Um, what this? Are you familiar with this photo? Yeah, Bill was taken here three days ago. I remember this guy, but the man in the mask in the background, he wasn't there. Hmm, two times. So how do you explain this? I think it's computer editing. Please wait a minute while I'm checking it in my lab. Alright. Yoink. I checked it using my best equipment, and I don't think this photo was altered. That's freaky. Alright, thanks for your help. Thanks, dude. See you later. Thanks for the beans. Hi. Hello, I'm working with the police on the search for a missing girl. Do you know anything about it? I am a magician, but not the kind of magician that makes people disappear. Do you want to buy something? Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. This saw is not for sale. Alright, what about uh, this? A magic box, I believe. Impossibly to make customers' money disappear. Probably. That's a water tank. Probably used in some kind of magic. Oh, can I break it? Oh, can Ah, uh, sorry. You, <laughs> live, you stupid customer. I'd better bring something to fix it quick before it will be empty. I'm sorry, I'm just so clumsy. Yoink. Marshall Square. Uh. Amy, this is Detective Kevin. May I speak with you a few moments? Yes, of course. Come on up. Oh, she's creepy. You are so creepy. What is that painting in the background? Hello, Haley. Nice to meet you. Hello, Detective Kevin. I'm still a bit shaky from all that happened. Of course, I understand. Can you tell me exactly what happened? My parents are out of town, so Selena was here yesterday for a sleepover. We got bored, so we went out to get some fresh air. First mistake. We passed by a photo booth and decided to have our pictures taken. While we were waiting outside, Selena said she wants to wash her hands in the public restroom. Second mistake. While she was in there, the photos were ready, so I took them. Then I saw this spooky man with a mask on his face strangling Selena. Hmm. I instantly ran inside the public restrooms to see if Selena was okay, but she wasn't there. Is it possible she ran away without you noticing? No, we had fun, and we planned to watch a movie later. She had no reason to run, and even if she did, I would see her. I was standing right there. Uh, she had no reason to run. That's up to you, you know, that's what you say. Maybe differently she thought, you know, she didn't like you, so that you were annoying. She thought your hair was too yellow. Alright, that would be all for now. What the heck is this? It's a hairpin. Here, use this. This doesn't work. Oh, well, better. I better get going. See you later. Hey! We are closed and you can't come in. Dag nabbit. We are closed. Dag But, uh, oh, wait, I can give the beans to the guy who is very, very hungry. Hey, you want some beans? I can't eat it unless you'll give me a can opener. Oh, come on. Oh, can I use it? A can of beans is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here you go. Well, thanks. Now that I have my strength back, I'm starting to remember something. It was summer of 1988. Uh, no, 1989. Uh, the man in the mask had a special show in the Vortex Point Old Town's Fair. Uh, that's all I can remember. Yeah. I had better head to the office so I can search more information about this fair. Alright, that makes sense. See ya, cop. Hey guys. Carolyn, I have a new lead. I have a witness saying that the man in the mask used to perform in the Old Town Fair back in 1989. Maybe you can find something about it on the internet. I don't think so. There are no online records of the town's fair. I think you'd better head to the town's museum. 
Fudge! Yeah, it was a cup garden at all. As far as I can remember, they had photos at the town's fair right at the entrance. Thanks, I'll do that. Well, if a cop leaves, the cop won't leave. I can't go there. Wrong place. Hey, guy. You must let me in. I'm investigating a crime, and it's very crucial I get inside. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to wait till morning. <gasps> Just like I have to wait to put my hands on a cold beer. Here! I bought you this beer, especially for you. Drink it! Uh, thanks, but I'm still not letting you get inside. I'm gonna get you another one. I'm gonna put some, like, drugs in it, right? Put some drugs in it. Put some drugs in it. Drugs in it. Give me another one of your fine beer. Here you go. Drugs. Give me another oh. one of your fine. Here you go. Looks like I'm old at the beer. I better head to the storage room and bring up another keg. Okay. Hey, I got some more beer, buddy. I bought you this beer, especially for you. Uh, thanks, but I'm still not letting you get inside. You know, I thought you would say that, which is why, uh. This is why I bought you this other one. I bought you this beer, especially for you. I've got to use the restroom. You wait here, and don't get inside. Yoink. That's the 1989 Vortex Point Town Fair. But I can't see all the details. <sighs> what about other pictures? Oh, I can't. Oh, wait! Now I've got him. That's Coco, the photographic wizard. Wait a minute. What the hell is a photographic wizard? I don't know. <sighs> Carolyn, I found at the museum a photo of the town's fair from 1989. There was a booth over there with the man we're looking for. His name is Coco the Photographic Wizard. So he was part of the old fair. I remember the town canceled that fair in 1991. Now it's just an abandoned lot at Marshall Square. Oh! And by the way, what is a photographic wizard? I don't know, we're trying to figure that out. Photography is the ability to psychically burn images on a film's negative. Coco the photographic wizard was famous for taking photographs. Photos that showed what was in his mind. So you're basically saying that Coco was around the area while Selena and Haley were inside the photo booth. And his plans to kidnap Selena were burned into the photo's negatives? Precisely. Ah. And I'll bet if you bring me the other photo you have, uh, the one you got from the homeless guy, we will find out that the person in that photo has also turned missing. Alright, take the photo. As for me, I'll be heading to the abandoned lot at Marshall Square, where they used to have the town's fair. Yeah, I get- Wait! How the heck did you not get a photo from the homeless guy? Wait. Alright, listen here, Craig. Alright. Don't make me. Don't make me. Don't make me do things with this. Don't make me, okay? This doesn't work. It would work. Alright, so here. It's locked. Cause it happen? This doesn't work. Can I just crack it open? Con it, my axe just broke. It wasn't mine, not my problem. It's locked. Now he's there, man. Give me the lock. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> oh my god. Case number 22406. We found Selena Balderas along with another abducted young man named Charlie Ball. They were locked and tied up inside Coco's old booth in the abandoned town's fair lot. According to Coco's testimony, his show at the old town's fair was a smashing hit. Uh -huh. He used to show his talent, the ability to burn images from his mind into the camera using only his psychic powers. But there were two local newspaper journalists who didn't believe the show, and by publishing an article refuting his powers, they ruined his career. Ah. Coco said that today, more than 20 years later, he decided it's time for revenge. He kidnapped Selena and Charlie, the children of those two reporters, and planned to ask for a ransom. He didn't think his own ability would eventually lead to his capture. I wonder what Coco's thinking about right now, inside his maximum security penitentiary. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's just strangling this guy. <laughs>